evening. It's day 178, Fat Girl Slim 365. And this evening, you're going to see the full length profile. Um, I haven't done a full length profile since I started. Oh, wait a minute. There's somebody here to say hello. Hello, little one. Hello. Hello, little one. This is Lady Sybil. She's coming up for a wee hello. Or maybe she's coming up to sit on her eggs. Anyway. <laughs> right. I don't know if you can see. Brutus in the background. He's having his tea. So I'm just finished CrossFit. Um, it was tough, tough, tough hard work tonight. Um, quiet, please. So we started off with like cleans but with the medicine ball so basically what you were doing if I show you the move I had a 14 kilogram medicine ball which was on the floor so you had to squat down so pick it up flip it squat and back down again flip it squat uh, we had to do that. Of oh course, I've even forgotten what we had to do because it's been so intense tonight. Oh, I so he took us outside. He took us outside, and we had to do twelve repetitions of that. Then we had to run about. It was only about ten meters, maybe, and then ten meters back. Then we had to do the medicine ball squat again nine times. Then you had to run maybe about 40 metres and 40 metres back. And then you had to do six medicine ball squats. Look, I have to do this every time I say it. Six squats. Listen to those doggies. And then you had to run maybe about 60 metres. My metres, my distance is, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but basically you had to run further each time. So it was less repetitions of your squat but further distance to run. So it was 12 medicine balls, short run, nine medicine balls, longer run, six medicine ball squats, longest run and back again. Then you got to rest for a couple of minutes, but you weren't supposed to rest. So I just rested anyway, because my lungs were burning. And then you had to do it again. So we had to do that three times, three flipping times. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to collapse in a heap. Um, but we managed it. That was just a warm up, however. So we went inside and we got the 15 kilogram barbell, no weights on it or anything, 15 kilo barbell, and you had to pick it up to waist with your arms out wide, and then you had to do a press with it, cleaning press. So you're basically going one, two, three. Oh, like this with a bar above your head. One, two, three. Oh, like that. Um, so you had to do 12 of them. Then you had to run for 200 metres. So I managed the first run, 200 metres. Very hard work. By this point, I really was on the brink of collapsing. Managed the first one. Came back in. Done my, my um, cleaning presses in sets of four. I couldn't do the whole 12 together. Uh, but managed them, then another run, then back in. So we had to repeat that four times. So a 200 metre run, 12 uh, bar presses, 200 metres, but and four times. I could not speak, could hardly breathe. My face is purple. Luckily, I used my waterproof um, window brow today, so my eyebrows are still intact, or they would have been halfway down my face. But all in all, it was torture, but great torture. Hee <laughs> hee. So we're on day six of the liquids only diet. I feel a wee bit more energetic today since switching to the protein shakes rather than just having the milk and yogurt. So I'm getting all the nutrients hopefully that I need. Plus I drank plenty of water today. And I split my shakes into four instead of three. So I had one at nine o'clock, one at half, twelve, one o'clock-ish, 
and then one at four o'clock so that I had a wee energy boost before my workout. Um, I'm just going to take you to see this boy over here. This massive tiny pig. Brutus. Brutus! See, he likes to ignore me. Have you been for a mud bath somewhere? He likes to ignore me when he's eating his dinner. Don't you, darling? Don't you? He's quite rude that way. So this is what I come home every night. It's fabulous. Are you up there looking for your eggs? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing, wee one? <laughs> oh, those are the fresh eggs laid over the last few days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's another one in the hen house as well. So I still haven't heard anything about my um, my not endoscopy. I've already had that. My thing you have when you're going to have a baby. I want to say auto scan. It's not on. <laughs> not auto scan. That's to do with the, the printer at work. Um, what is the name of it? Oh my goodness, that's going to annoy me. Ultrasound. Ultrasound. Haven't heard anything about my ultrasound. Of course, I don't know if there's been mail today because the postie hadn't been by the time I got home at lunchtime. So there might be a wee letter in there just saying to me, you have to come for your ultrasound tomorrow. Or you have to come for your ultrasound this Friday. Which would be ideal. Because then he gets the results pretty much straight away, I think. So, not long to go, hopefully. Right, I better go and see what these wee dogs are up to. Because they've been shouting and bawling since I got home. Okay, hope you liked my wee alternative approach to the video tonight. A lot of people have been saying, you're always in your car, so I thought I'd take it outdoors, mix it up a bit, you know what I mean? And I will speak to you tomorrow. I can't believe we're, like, what are we, halfway through? Over halfway through already? Day 178? No, not quite halfway through, but then my mental maths is terrible. Okay, right, Brutus, you want to say goodbye? There's your answer to that then. Okay, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Love you, bye, love you, bye.